Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and I'm a second year dental student. It is ripe and early 7.20 in the morning and I am here on campus at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center for a morning prosthodontics lab. This is the second week of my second year of dental school. I'm now a D2 and I decided to bring you along with me today because I've got a lot going on between labs in-person lectures and a couple other things that I have to do. So I have eaten my breakfast, I just got to campus, and now I'm gonna head into lab, get everything that I need, and sit down to go ahead and get to work. See you in there. Contestant number one takes it. Contestant number one? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, contestant number one looks like crap. I don't, I don't know who did that, but he should probably drop out of school. Contestant number two is going to actually be a proficient dentist. I'm like contestant number one. So that's going to do it for this lab. I was able to do my first successful crown prep. It took me a while. I had to do quite a bit more reduction than I expected to do. But that's what it looks like. So that's that one successfully finished. What do you gotta say? Uh, mine looks better than yours, hold on. <laughs> nah, no way. You're not gonna let me pull it out? No, I'm gonna let you pull it out. Pause. Let's compare notes here. This is mine, this is your man's. They actually look really similar on They camera. do look very similar. Great minds think alike. Yeah, 100%. Good stuff, man. Thank you, man. What, are you, what are your thoughts on your first crown prep? Was it hard? Uh, easier than expected, okay. but definitely not the easiest thing that we've done. Right. That's that. All right, so I am back in my place now after a morning of lab, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a workout. I did a pretty substantial leg workout yesterday, so I ran three and a half miles, and then I did some functional leg stuff, so uh, some squats and a couple of other movements. So the legs are toasted right now, and I don't wanna put any more stress on them. So instead of doing any leg stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of mobility down there in the gym. Um, stretch out a bit, roll out a little bit, and kind of break up some of the lactic acid in the legs. And then I'm just gonna do a basic upper body uh, workout with the weights. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I love to include some sort of workout segment in all of my vlogs. I think it's really important to show you how I stay active uh, amidst all of this dental school stuff. And so that is what I'm up to now. I will see you in the gym. So that was a good, pretty quick workout, just about just under 35 minutes. Um, it's a busy day, so I don't wanna be down there for too long, but I'm back up in my place now. 
Um, just a little recap of the workout itself. I did mostly upper body, did a little bit of stretching and some rolling out in the beginning, and then just did all sorts of different upper body muscle groups other than really chest. I didn't really hit chest because I'll probably do that tomorrow. So now I'm going to refuel with some BPN whey protein as I like to do after my workouts, uh, just like eight ounces of milk and some protein. And then I'm gonna do lunch, which will be some chicken in the frying pan over top a salad with some ranch. So let me get on that. So I'm back in the lab after lecture. We had a good pathology lecture, got through a couple of presentations, and now I'm here in the lab. I have two operative preps that I need to do, uh, both upper class two preparations. So I need to try to get through those, but I'm here in the wet lab recording this, and I thought I would take this unique opportunity of being one of the only people in this entire place to kind of show you what the wet lab looks like uh, very briefly. So this is the wet lab. And this is where we're going to do a bunch of different stuff. Every time we pour up any sort of cast, we're able to trim it over here on these machines. And then we have these machines to mix up our stone and allow us to pour them into impressions and things. This is all sorts of stone right here and right here and on every wall. And then these machines clean our hand pieces, keep them lubricated and ready to go. And yeah, there's just like a bunch of stuff. We get this brown paper for our workstations. It is a good time in here, and this place gets crazy hectic when everyone is working on multiple projects and there's a ton going on. So that's the wet lab. Let's get to this operative. So that is going to do it for my extra lab work and for this video, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. If you're interested, I got a little bit of lab work done in, uh, in the lab there, a little bit of operative, couple preps. Honestly, it wasn't going as well as I would have liked for it to have gone, and that's just the way it goes sometimes in dental school. It's kind of funny because this morning in my pros lab, I did really well on my crown prep. Um, loved my crown prep, it came out great but uh, tonight in the lab again for operative, it just wasn't really clicking for me. So just kind of roll with the punches and take what you can get. But it's like 7.30 almost and I'm not even home yet and I still have to study. So I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna basically just start going through my honky cards because we have a tech test on Monday and I have a lot to get through, so. <sighs> But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, as I always say, make sure you like it and subscribe to this channel for more content like this about my experiences in dental school. I truly appreciate each and every one of you for watching these videos, and I'm just so happy to be documenting all of these awesome experiences like my first ever crown prep and joining the lecture hall here at UT for the first time. It's my man right there. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video.